Hey, how's it going guys? TND coming back at you. The new horde mode in Destiny 2 Onslaught drops this week with the release of the Into the Light update. So I went and designed a full fire team's worth of loadouts to help you and your teammates cruise through this new game mode as fast and efficiently as possible. I'll also be giving weapon recommendations, artifact picks, as well as each of the overall roles in this team composition. And of course I went and made it a true Destiny fire team, which means one warlock, one titan, and one hunter. Starting first with the titan player, and so no surprise we are using one of the most powerful soldiers solo builds in the entire game right now, which is the Strand Titan loadout using Syntheseps and the Banner of War aspect to give us an insane amount of melee damage potential and endless healing to go along with it. The combination of Synthos, Tractor Cannon, and a 1-2 Punch Shotgun is enough to one-shot most non-boss enemies in the game. And with this loadout, you'll be jumping right into the fray, serving basically as close to a true tank character as we can have in Destiny 2. I should note that I'm specifically not using Overload Auto Rifle here on my artifacts, so that I can use Anti-Barrier Unraveling Rounds in the artifact instead. As we want to cover as many champions as possible here, and Tractor Cannon already stuns overloads on its own. Next up, we have our Warlock player, who will be serving as the team's de facto healer with their Well of Radiance loadout. The rest of the build will be using the super powerful Sunbracers build. It's been all the rage nowadays for solo Warlock players. Simply activate your heat rises, get a melee kill, and start spamming grenades to your heart's content. And to add even more survivability, make sure to use your Phoenix Dive paired with the Ember of Empyrean fragment for infinite restoration times two as long as you're getting solar kills. It's important to remember that on Onslaught will mostly be about holding down a certain position at any given time, so a loadout built around popping a well and spamming grenades, while kind of boring on the surface, let's be honest, will certainly help a ton in the long run, especially in those later rounds on Legendary Difficulty. If you want to see a full build guide for this specific loadout, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. I did one early in the season. Finally, we have our Void Hunter player, whose whole job will be to pop as many tethers as possible while absolutely slaying out. We'll be making use of the exotic Orpheus rig to help us refill our super gauge insanely fast, ensuring that enemy combatants are debuffed as often as possible. This gameplay loop will be enhanced not only by your void loadout producing orbs and super energy, but also by your teammates both running loadouts centered around ability kills and orb generation as well. I'll also say that the weapons used here in this video will probably get swapped out with some of the new void brave arsenal weapons dropping in the update. So just imagine in this footage I'm using recluse and hammerhead instead. And then finally for boss fights, listen, it's pretty simple. Make sure to pop your well, get a tether on the boss, and then burn them down with your rocket launchers. Ideally, you're you're going to want to have one Galahorn player and two legendary rocket launchers, but if you'd rather prefer something like Dragon's Breath, then that's also a great option, especially if your whole team has the catalyst. Let me know how these loadouts worked out for your fire team, and hey, if you want to see another great void loadout for the new update, check out this video here.